Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Esto es Atrás del Mostrador con los Geeks del Juguete. Yo soy Carlos. I'm Sarah Jo. Yo soy Benjamin. <laughs> y él es George. Soy Jorge. <laughs> Somebody push the SAP button. <laughs> yes. Oh, and this is Chamaco. <laughs> We don't go without him. Él es Chamaco. What's up, guys? That yeah. was What's very, happening? very Spanish. Very soap opera, right? Yeah. Where's the running in the counter and like the balloons uh, and like confetti. Little, wow. little people. Little people. Yeah, we don't yeah. say that word anymore. Oh, yeah. okay. That may be insensitive to some of our viewers. Do you not have PC in Mexico? Is no, we use Macintosh. Ah, oh, I see what oh, he did oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, everyone, welcome to another episode of Toy Geeks. He just said that. But I'm doing it in English <laughs> for our English speaking. I think we got it. Okay. We can move forward. Okay. So open toys. we're going to do something <laughs> different today. Well, we've kind of done this one already. The whole show is in Spanish. Take away Carlos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we, we're going to focus on, so let's back up a little bit first. We did an episode once before where we talked about pop. It was our biggest episode ever. Really? I Actually, I think we did get the most views on that episode. Oh, good. Let's do it again. All right. So we're so, doing that. So we're going to do that, but there's a little catch. We're not going to just do pop okay because the company behind pop is funko okay so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at all the different funko items okay so different different platforms different lines yeah okay yeah okay and the first one we're going to start with is pop <laughs> oh wow <laughs> okay. a surprise so so do you want all these yeah let's just so there's tons of pop out there and i would just, i just want to get your guys opinion on this and we yes. talked about this entry two Yes. These are some of the ones that I personally picked out because I like them, and I'm probably just going to keep them. Except okay. this one, which I'm keeping. <laughs> okay. You, know, you didn't know that picking it out ahead of time. I have another one. And, and that's the thing. At 3D Retro, we sell pop. What, what, what? I know. What? I know. And actually, everything that we talk about today, we sell. Okay. So, so once again, you know, this is, are these collectibles are these do they fall into the same realm of well, art we're not, figures we're not having this discussion again right we're I, just gonna I, open cool yeah toys. we're just gonna no open we're cool gonna toys. talk okay. about i this. have a question i have a question okay. there's a number on the back of this flashing yeah. gremlin i have here it says 610 and mine's 609 so, have there been over 600 different pop figures oh, i mean yeah. i've seen walls and walls and walls of them and yeah. i know oh uh, yeah and this is only 609 of the pop movies Oh, because that's I pop see. movies. I see, because this Twinkie one is number twenty-seven. I mean, like and this is, and I, I actually love the new pop ad icon. Let me see that Twinkie one. I have an original Twinkie the Kid. You should have told me you're gonna have this. I could have brought it. We could compare. To compare it. Oh, wow. You know, you should know that we don't talk about stuff before the show. We never do. All right, let's open oh, some of cool. these. So I love the pop movie ones because some of some of the reason why I don't like some of the other pop is because it's a very generic. Like body and face, like oh, it's a guy with brown hair. Oh, that's so and so from this TV show. But the yeah. movie ones, like it's actually sculpted out. Well, you, yeah, like you have the flashing gremlin. Yeah, I have the flashing gremlin, which is like, yeah, it, which is funny. It's funny. I kind of wish his glasses came on and off, but they don't. That would be cool. It would yeah, be, they're just it solid would be nice figures. I got the Shape of Water. Yeah, creature. I love that one. Oh, too. look at these. This is really cool. So. What they did with this one is like made a little clear base. It's awesome. So it could like awesome. kind of float. Do you see this? Free me, Eddie. Look at this, George. Oh, that's neat. It's neat. So, you know, it's kind of like a, a different pose. So it's not just like the generic neutral pose. Ah, which I like <laughs> that about these movie ones because they, they, their poses are like super dynamic. The sculpts are cool. So. Are these, nice. going back to the thing, and then we have like, you know, so we have the ad icons, which is like Twinkie oh, the Kid, and they're doing all the Kellogg's figures, which I'm going to have to buy every single one. <laughs> you're, you're a Mickey fan. What do you think of like the Steamboat Willie? Um, okay, so, so yeah. So Dove has been, um, uh, dare I say, pushing me to collect <laughs> more uh, Mickey designer toys and really? it's turning into kind of a pretty big collection of things that are in the the realm of like the regular Mickey colors only 
done okay. by all different artists. And so that's been kind of on my mind. This uh, obviously does not fit into that collection in any way. Right. Um, and it has this, what, what I would call like a regular pop head, head yeah. which I'm not a super fan of. Like the little square rounded. Yeah, I mean, I, I like. ears to it. I know. And a little Steamboat Willie hat. I know. Hat. I like his butt a lot. I do like his butt <laughs> and his tail and his butt are really, really cute. I almost would display it this way. Like just the butt? It's like this just is like just too distracting. There's too much <laughs> going on. But if you just look at his butt, I'm telling you, it's really cute. His little buttons on his shorts and his tail. And even just his little jaunty little shoe and his little hip going up. I like it's that. He's like sassy. Yeah, he's sassy. Sassy, sassy mouse. mouse. I'm going to set him backwards for you sassy guys. Sassy Oh, so this guy is like flashing the sassy mouse. And then he's like, oh, Ooh. and it's making his butt go up. Like, yeah. So then there's, there, then there's the vehicles. Tell us about it. Okay, and the pop vehicles, <laughs> like this is the Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh. Which I know like my son will love this because it's... Car. It's dinosaur car. Yeah, totally. That's, that's what he called yeah. Jurassic Park. If only he could but drive. But it doesn't it. roll. But it do that's the thing. Oh, like, it does. Like if you're gonna make a car, make it why roll. don't you make the oh, wheels? That's rough. Well, because it's, it's just not that a more sculpture. More money, right? Like to. Okay, it. now if it's a sculpture, is this then a collectible? Art toy? I think that a lot of people would say that these are collectible. I mean, a lot of people collect these. And let's go, be honest, have you seen people's Funko collections? They don't open them. They don't. They don't. Yeah, so they don't take them out of the box. Cares? They even sell like special boxes to put them. To put your boxes. Oh, they, it comes with a little box. I mean, uh, in a way, it's more realistic to leave it in the box. You can collect more, you can stack them up, you can build a whole do, wall of them. You yeah. cannot look at them, you know, because that's the whole point. Like when I like something, I like looking at all sides, not just like a little bit through a little window. I mean, this is fantastic. Like, this look is, at the back skull. That's this is really cool. That's really cool. Like, I've seen people actually make an Audrey 2 like that at Designer Con. Yeah, there's an artist in that. sculpt it, yeah. paint it, and like sell it for like 70 bucks. Totally worth it. Yes. Hand done, hand painted, hand cast everything. And and now you can buy this, and which this is... is great. 10 I mean, bucks? Yeah, it's t like $10. $10. Wow. And it's so good. It's I nice. mean, the, the same thing for the Flash Even and Gremlin. Even I kind of want this. Yeah, that one it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, oh. if you're a Gremlins <laughs> fan, <laughs> those two are really. You know, you get the Gremlins. And I mean, like I. You yeah. know which one I saw the other day at Target? It's like a Target exclusive. It's like a huge Pikachu one. It's yeah. awesome. I mean, we have the large. But the Pikachu one, you know, it, like for some or, reason, it works or, with it. I, so this I might. Like this is gonna sound bad, but are these getting better? Yeah, they're getting. They I, are. I feel they're like they're better. becoming a little more interesting. Like, yes. not to poo-poo it, but well, <laughs> Ben also no picked some ones that were more interesting. Yes. Like, but if, that if you had picked <coughs> Seymour, girl, like really that wouldn't have made. Or if you difference. picked Orin, then it's like it looks nothing like Steve Martin. Right. Yeah. yeah like, you know, it's. And then the I still need to get Baby you know, Audrey. Baby Audrey looks cool. big. So I think when they make things like this, it's like so awesome and so great. And you're right. It's like it's so much better yeah. than what yeah. what like Pop started with. Uh, but they still, like I wish the vehicles would have actual moving yeah, wheels. Yeah. And but it would cost more. And so they're just keeping so? it. But look, it's okay. I don't think so. Look, look, Is it's it just, so? Yeah. Or is it a licensing issue? That's you know, because oh. there is a Jeep already being sold at Target. That could be too. Like the whole thing about making like paperweights or uh, right, like coin this, banks. This isn't a this isn't a car. This is a pop. Yeah, so and it, a pop it doesn't have like moving parts yeah. except for the head. But yeah, it falls into that category. Right? And still, if you're a Jurassic Park fan, I, oh yeah, you, you gotta yeah. have that thing. Yeah. You got it. All right, so. That's pop. Tell us what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm still on the fence of whether they're like collectible figures and... Look, that we could debate collectibles all day. You know, people are yeah. going to collect whatever they want. You <coughs> That's know? true. You can collect coins and stamps people and... People thimbles. Dude. Yeah, they're, and spoons you and yeah. Well, yeah, they're very whatever collectible. You collect. <laughs> but it, it, it... Angry George. Is it an artistic <laughs> representation <laughs> of something? Yes. It is. I Some guess. of them are more interesting than others. Even just looking on the shelf down there where I see, because we're in an actual store, you guys. Yeah. And I can see on the shelf down there, 
there's a bunch and they all kind of look, I see Rocky and Bullwinkle and all, and they all look very similar. Yeah. But even, you know, if you're a collector of those things, that's interesting. And, it, and as an overall thought about just collecting and creating items, it is a spectacular amount of things that Funko has produced. I like, if you can't find something you like, yeah. you just don't belong in it's any world kind alive. of collection, <laughs> well, collecting anything. Be. That's a good transition because we have a bunch of other stuff. Fantastic. Uh, what let's, else would let's you like take to a see? Look. You pick. Um, are we looking at more, oh, more pop things? What about this? Well, that's the new stuff. That's one of the new things. So, are these pop done, things? The, well, I've been left with a pile here. The, so there's a whole line of these. There's tons of them out right now. And these are pop <coughs> pets. Made by actual, made by actually the pest so company. So it's like a collaboration yeah. with pop? Well, it's got to be more than a collab oh, because they're, they, it's licensed. I'm good. Yeah, they're making like mm. Well, who's everything. licensing who? Is Pez Funko licensing? is licensing Pez. Okay. Funko licensed the brand name Pez to make these pop Pez. Okay. But is, isn't Pez actually making these? That's what no, I'm saying. Like. Oh, Funko, licensee of Pez. But candy made by Pez Candy. And what about the machine? Who are you buying it from when you buy it? Are you buying it from Funko, Funko or are you buying it from Pez? You're buying it from Funko. Well, then Funko is licensing it from Pez. All right. Interesting. But, like, the whole mechanism and everything, that's all a Pez. They're probably using the same factory that Pez uses. Oh, maybe. Oh, George. Oh, you're making a mess, George. My five-year-old could do a better mm. job loading <laughs> Pez dispenser. It works. And that's it. Mm. Pass the Pez to so the So this is the Bob Ross side. one. Okay. This actually would be a nice gift for anyone who mm -hmm. looks like this, which is kind of a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, like, a, you know, curly-haired... It's guy. funny. It's funny. No, because he doesn't, doesn't have. Like he doesn't have a beard. Nah, and it doesn't I have glasses. Have hair. Hmm. The real question is, why is Pez still being made? It's <coughs> terrible. I think the real question is, why am I eating this right now, yeah. you guys? They're yeah. awful. They are. No it's a nightmare. Okay. They're not sweet. They're not sour. They're, they're just perfect. Chalky. But Kids like it. And gritty. Kids like it. Mm. I love Great. It. Carlos I love barely likes it. He's in he just pops. I love Pez. Have you had lunch? Let me try a purple one. <laughs> Let me see. Eat that yellow one. So I can oh, jeez. Oh, oh, it came. It fired. Mm. It fired. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Splurge. Yeah, we got it. We got splurge. It. We're trying <laughs> we to splurge that. That. We have to that. We're trying one to get past that, all right? We're going to need a clean up in aisle all right. counter. So, so then there's the pop Pez, which I actually like. Yeah. And then we have these. Oh, jeez. That's what, what you do with these. What oh. did you do? <laughs> you just broke it. Did you break it? No, it comes off. How I much do those cost? Part. Is that like a six dollar item? Is that a ten dollar item? I think they're ten bucks. Right? Yeah, they're oh. like they must be like ten. Ten bucks. 10 that's bucks. terrible. How much is a regular? You get a Rima machine? candy. A Rima candy. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, six bucks. Six, six dollars. Six bucks. Okay. It costs the same as all their other pets. I can name that price. In six dollars. One note. Six dollars. What? No, yeah. I'm a there's no more candy, Kevin. There you go. <laughs> a normal pen. Kevin is reaching for the candy. A couple of I bucks. don't know. Less than five dollars. Yeah. Three ninety nine or something. Yeah. But they're two ninety nine. Really collectible. Like a dollar seventy nine. Oh. Ooh. Black Panther. I want that one. Is it on sale? Buy now. Yeah. It's a Lafasaurus. Poop emoji. Don't you want to get your candy out of a poop? Yes. No, sold actually kids like you can't that. because it's sold out. Kids like poop anyway, a lot. The other thing that Funko makes is this line called vinyl. Tell me about it. Well, we've actually <laughs> talked about it on another episode. I'm sorry, I'm eating my pets. Skull pens on sale, dollar twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is. I don't know if it's like. Well, that's a different line. Yeah. Those are called dorbs. You see. As oh. in, they're adorbsable. I got it. That's not a word. It is now. All right, so this is from the Rick and Morty one. Those are cool. Oh, jeez. Scary Terry. But I get you. It's Can't a little bit it. nightmare on you know what. Yeah. It is. It's supposed to be the oh. take on that. And Rick. Like military Rick. Now these are the adorbs. And they're supposed to be like these cute little chibi looking guys. 
I'm a Rick and Morty too. I don't know how to feel about those. I like these. These are you cool. like, and these all these all come with stands because they're so top heavy. Yeah, which is nice. They bring their stands. You know which ones are really cool on this series? The cereal mascots. Mm. What do you think, George? This is Have you seen those? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just uninterested in all of this. I have, this is dumb. This is this is. This is worse, actually. Yeah, this that's is, worse. This, this is, is funny. Worse, yeah. This is not for me. This right here? Does anyone think that's cool? How about not for me? How about this one? Is this I one for you? I don't think we're the audience no, of this. This is not made for ben, me. Ben, do you either. like this? No, I don't. Yeah. Well, now, even Ben doesn't like it. What about yeah. these shaped bodies? These are dumb. Does yeah. anyone like this? <sighs> Put in the comments if you like it. So the, like the it. funny thing is, is that anything that they made of Back to the Future, of course, I bought. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. What is this supposed to be? Oh, back, to like back to the Future? No, Why that's Rick and Morty. Morty. I like how that's I just know the nothing. character. That's the guys character. Are right. yeah. I don't know anything. Scary Terry. You got like ball chin. So you guys are not into vinyl. Are you guys are not. Look, they all look like this? Do they all I have just, this dumb square body? Which yes. Is really yes. Nice. Yeah. I mean, this looks like I could make this hair out of Play Doh. Yeah. That, yeah like it's all lumpy and yeah, crumpy. Cool. These are not. Yeah, and the Adorbs one, I mean, they have, like, you could see over there, they have the Stranger Things They almost look like, there. you know, like, those, yeah, like, Japanese that. wooden... Like the pegs or something, or like what are they called? Like dolls or something like those that? Those ones where you hide a note in their bottom? Oh, the yeah, yeah, the about? ones that you hide in. Yeah, they look like, you know, you like... They're really top heavy. You put something in the bottom. <laughs> you can put this in your butt. No, that's... <laughs> You put a note in the toys oh. bottle. You don't put that in your bottle. Why does wow. everything have to be like Wow, you guys. <laughs> wow. What's happening? What are we teenagers? I don't know. Is this high school? Only Carlos. Only me. Okay, so I don't like those. I, I just, all right. Are we are also not, doing this? Yeah. Yes. Because okay. these are also. So let's do let's do I'm, these. I figured guys. it out let's now. Let's do you blind guys. box time. Let's blind do the blind box. boxes first. Okay. Let's put those out to the side. Okay. Don't look right. at this yet. Well, this secret. Those. So the best thing that I think Funko makes. Okay, you get why. Is mystery minis. Okay. Those I think are the Boom. best thing that Funko makes. These might not be the best example of mystery. That's minis. what I was telling him. What makes it so he good? Wanted, like, open well, these. Oh. this is Aquaman. That's why. It's a bad but movie. Did anyone like Aquaman? I, 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 I didn't see it. Really? You enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. Oh, look what do you mean? It was so cheesy, man. That's the best part was when he went in and he was like permission to board or whatever he says yeah. he's like he turns around and is like he's just showing his butt and he's just like permission to come aboard yeah. oh my god oh it's amazing maybe I'm not the craft that movie right? I need anyway a tool. are there scissors down there oh you can be my tool thanks so <laughs> I'm a tool <laughs> Carlos the tool so the reason why I like mystery minis the best is because they are really well sculpted well painted, yeah. well priced okay. yeah, mini it's, figures. It's a decent value, right? They're like seven dollars. Yeah, they're like six ninety nine or cheaper even. Which one's that? This is just the generic warrior guy. Right. I got. No, I haven't seen the movie, but I got this guy. That's him when he gets the. No, that's him in his five pack. Uh, oh, and there's no secret guys. Oh, I got Aquaman. No, See? because usually if you Aren't buy you the case, you, you no. get one of everything. <laughs> I don't like it. Because if you look at it, all the it's one out of twelve. All of them are one out of twelve. Yeah. And there's twelve in a box. So you get a full. So you set. buy the box, you get the full set. Lucky really? You. I love, that's cool because you know some people are yeah. like you know they want them all. That's really cool. Like I mean, yeah. what's it's wrong a with good, this guy? Uh, Who's that guy? I don't the know. The bad guy in the, the movie? movie. That's the main. Yeah, he looks the pissed. Main guy. I like his gold case. I mean, though. for the price. He's got like a lot of detail. Like, look at that. That's, yeah, that's a cool fade on the even hair. the tattoos and everything. And the clear are well. base. So this is one thing that I think Funko like hits it out of the ballpark every single time. These mystery minis, I think they do a fantastic job, and I think they're very comparable in terms of like collectability. To um, yeah, yeah, this guy's cool. Like my like, kid would like this guy. Now they're not like. You see, they're not art figures like, no, you know, like dunnies and things like that. But I think for the price, yeah, they're so well made. It's it's awesome. Yeah, it's a good price point. What do you guys think? 
Yeah, I agree. I think you're a little hung up on labels and like what is a collectible or an art right, figure or what isn't. Because that's the whole thing that we talk about. I know. I, I, I feel like this I, far in. I feel like <laughs> I'm, letting, this far I'm in. letting go of that a little bit. Yeah, like, it's like if you like it, you like it. Well, yeah, I, yeah okay. You know, I mean, and, if you and think, some people yeah. want to have this. If you think about the word collectible, is <laughs> something you collect. So you could collect these. But here's the other thing, like if you want to, so these a lot of people like are buying this stuff because they think they're like really valuable collectibles. Well, that's, they're just, that's not very smart. That's not, that's smart. not smart collecting. They're, they're I'm sorry, that. I'm that's sorry. Sad, yeah. As a, a person who is involved Come with on. another person who buys a lot of people's collections, oh um, often, you know, people oh. buy things that they think are gonna be worth a lot of money. Oh. And, and all that, Pennies. And All we just that, don't. Yeah. So you should, I'm just going to tell you unsolicited advice to all people in the world. Stop it. Just buy what makes you happy. Yeah. And don't try and make an investment in the future in this guy. Because we just don't know. What about this guy? Probably <laughs> not. Probably not. Probably. Likely not. You know, it had to be Star Wars in the 80s. That's it. Because all these people are trying not. to do is trying to oh, replicate man. that. Buying. <laughs> Oops. I All know. that stuff that is valuable. And, and a, it's what a lot hard. Of, for those people that don't know, when you say that you bought collections, like you work with Dove, yes. <laughs> you're part of DKE, Dove Calvin. and that's kind of what you guys do. Yeah. You have you have people come to you with toy collections. I mean, are, have there been like some really sad stories where people have spent all of them? There, <laughs> um, there have been a lot of sad stories and interesting stories and weird things that happen. What's like and one of the what's one of, one of the, the worst? worst? You what's know, the saddest where the guy was like crying and just needed money and had nothing but Aquaman figures. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, that's I awful. Think, I think the saddest thing that we see Aquaman. is people that have unopened cases of Episode One figures uh, that that bought that went out uh, because they were so stoked <laughs> on. Uh, new Star Wars figures coming out, because there hadn't been st Star Wars figures in yeah. so long, that they went to uh, R.I.P. Toys R. Us, and they bought cases and cases and cases and cases and cases of Episode oh, 1 figures. Oh, and then they call Dub 20 years later and say, I have all these, and he's like, I'll, I'll give you $5. I'll give you 20 cents or whatever he says. Damn. You know, it depends Ooh. how many they have, right? Yeah, could be 40 cents. Yeah, <laughs> could be two bucks. I have no idea, but it's not a lot. Them, yeah, but so it, at some point you have to decide what is it worth to move it so to me it's like even though we're talking about like oh is this collectability is this collectability like no, it's kind of talking about that well that's All the thing it's kind of like, it's kind <laughs> of like a, you know a, uh, you know PSA like d don't don't Look, think this is what I think is interesting. And yeah. since I'm on the show this week, we could talk about that. Oh, yeah. let's do that. But what I think is interesting is when there's an artist behind it. Yes. And so okay. when we talk about what's an art figure, what's not an art figure, well, this, you know, somebody made this. But they're not really an artist behind it. Yes. And so there is, you can make it, a, a, you can differentiate there, but it doesn't make it any more or less collectible. Yeah, something to say. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> Being a guy who is the artist behind a lot of things that have no... I I know. Like, someone Reddit. designed every yeah. one of those because this does not look like the figure in the movie. You are 100% correct. <clears throat> but this person, however talented they may be, it doesn't add value to the, right, the figure by oh. putting their name on it. Okay. And their name is not there. They're it, just part of saying. Funko. It could be if toy companies would allow it the way a comic book artist becomes an artist yeah where they yeah. tell you who the name of the comic book and artist is and i would love that if a toy mm. company would start saying like hey this is the line designed by whatever this guy's name is at funko and mm. then that guy could get a following and exactly. become an artist in his own right and then you start to see things. what everything is like even just yesterday i was driving in west hollywood and there was a small bus and i thought that looks like a jim hauser painting on that bus and as i Got closer to it, said artist Jim Hauser. Jim Hauser designed art for buses in West Hollywood. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. But it's nice that they get like a credit because then the company can yeah. benefit. So of you that. actually think, or what you guys think is like, <coughs> if the company was to actually take some time and credit the artist, no matter, no matter, even if it's just an illustrator that's working at the company designing all these guys, if they actually credited like designed by, eventually people might 
you know, start looking for that name yeah. and things, and eventually that might actually it bring value. The it Absolutely. benefits the artist. It and it benefits the company because then as that company keeps that artist on board, people will buy more of that person's thing. As Even if it's grow. not something they like, if the right. artist is making something you don't like that is not back to the hmm. future, you'll buy it because you like the artist. And right. you'll be like, oh, that, he made that? All right, I'll buy it. It appeals in so. a different way. That's yeah. a very interesting... But companies don't like to do that because they don't want that artist to get a big head and start realizing that they're more famous than the company and then the they could charge and more money but and then they become Tom McFarlane but and then they start Image Comics and they leave Marvel and they <laughs> do a whole thing <laughs> wow it becomes a huge no that's what happened it beca they started getting too much credit and then they wanted more credit and then they weren't getting it and they weren't getting the recognition they deserved so they started their own toy their own comic book company wow it's exactly how it happens when the, com the main company doesn't respect their artists you're so going. You're going. We were. We were about to convince him, George, and then <laughs> no, you just. Well you can't went. say that these are not designed by an artist. You can't no, say that's that it. You no ruined it. They're going to get a big. We got one more thing from Funk. All right, Hunter. sorry. This is oh, your this. favorite, by the way. Go ahead. Let's see. These are these. I know are George's favorite, which is why. All right, we'll pass them to George. Talk about these. Here you go, is that George. He oh no, they're not He-Man. These are Savage World which? by Funko. Wait, which ones do we have? Because I'm not opening this. We one. have. This one. You want Pinhead? He wants what he wants. But well, this one is all like, oh. <laughs> I don't care. So, yeah, we don't, I mean, we don't need to open all of them. Um, yeah. But, yeah, if you want to open that one up. Just open that one. So, these are twelve ninety nine. says right here. Yes. It's a good price. And so they, they have, like, the bodies, like, uh, Masters of the Universe, right? So, the what these one. are. How much does yours say? Twelve ninety nine. dollars Mine says twelve ninety nine. Why is mine fourteen? Because it's. Cause this it's one's fourteen ninety nine. Ooh. Oh, Justin. Justin. Come in and buy that one. It's cheaper. There you go. Are we oh, on? maybe because the box yeah, is Yeah, go ahead. Like you can open damage. that one up. Just so we can have one maybe to like look at. Maybe because of the, yeah, the box is damaged. Um, Sorry, Justin. So these are, <laughs> these are the horror line. So you've got Freddy, Jason, Pinhead, Leatherface, and Michael Myers. And oh, it's kind of like a mashup of Masters of the Universe. That's the Masters of the Universe body shape. This is so. This is Savage World. This is Savage World is Funko's line of He-Man style figures. Okay. Okay. Um, they've done DC, the Primal Age. Okay. Uh, DC oh. figures. They've done these pinhead ones. They've done um, something else that I don't recall right now. Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> so it's basically. Um, Reese is a uh, one of the artists there at Funko. We're not allowed to talk about the artists. And Funko. he is a huge <laughs> Masters fan. Uh huh. And he has been designing these kind of things as like customs and stuff. And then one day they decided to take a chance on it. Really? Because I mean, they that's already how have, this happened. I, I believe so. I believe that's the. F I don't know if that's the full official story or not, but I believe that's what I've seen. That's they insane. Already, they already have the licenses. Yeah, but it's like, just like, can you, like, dude, the whole point of, like, licenses is that you can't just make anything. You have to get approvals from the company. Like, course. you have to submit images. But and don't you think, like, if Funko comes to them and say, hey, I want to make these, they'll be like, yeah, do whatever you well, make. You make yeah, a ton Funko, of money. Funko's Funko. alive. But I feel like anybody else that would have come to, what True. is it, was it Miramax or Universal or anybody that made these, like, they'd be like, we want to make, like, you know, Masters of the uh, Universe. They'll be like, Super Funko. hulky. You know, Pinhead, urgh, like about to go into the wrestling ring thing. To be fair, there's no one. There's there's no one that you can't turn into this. No, no one can. There's no one they will turn down for these licenses. Yeah. Every company has had Pinhead, Michael Myers, Hellraiser, yeah. like uh, <laughs> Jace, Freddy, Jason, Leatherface. Like, yeah. yeah. These these five guys right here. They've been made into all kinds Every of everything. Yeah. Every yeah. Toy so this is just made. the next. Yeah. Every yeah. toy company. It's has just done one this. more thing. I see. It's like a rite of passage for toy companies. So they have to get these stupid are they five doing? characters and make them. Yeah. So what do you think about this line from Funko? I am not a huge fan of it. I don't think it works. I don't like the mashup of He-Man style and these horror or or just in general everything. Kind of in general, all of it. I don't really think the mashup works. I think He Man worked for what it was. I don't think other things look good on that style, but that's just my aesthetic. I think that the DC, the DC Primal Age, some of them looked really fun. I'm not that into DC to have bought them all. I did buy the Shark guy because it was funny to have like a big 
He-Man <laughs> looking shark. Okay. But I don't know. I just don't. I don't think Pinhead's body form looks good on a muscular He-Man body. Yeah. And I don't think that the like that le- that Freddy Krueger. I, I don't even understand what's happening. Like it looks like a nail, f- like a goblin. Yeah, or it's just such like a like the weird, Green Goblin. It's yeah. such a weird it's mix of things. Like, why does he have a hood on? Like, I don't know. Like, it yes. doesn't look like Freddy He's anymore, and it doesn't really look like a He Man. It's very strange. <laughs> like, why Pinhead doesn't have anything different to him? He's yeah, it's Pinhead. Pinhead. It's just like a buff. Yeah. So why isn't Freddy just on. Freddy? The Did gym, Freddy ever Pinhead. wear a hood like that? I, maybe I don't know. Like, like, I'm not that huge of Freddy. For, like, I'm not a big enough fan of any of these horror guys to care about this. And the same thing with the DC. Maybe when they get to one that I'm a bigger fan of, I will enjoy the crossover. I more. can't wait till they funny back they to do the future versions of these. Oh, that would be <laughs> terrible. It'd be funny if they do like Kiss, you know, like the Kiss like members. a bulked up Marty and a bulked up Doc. Yeah. I mean, again, this is just buying into more, yeah. more collecting. If you collect, you know, Hellraiser stuff, this is another thing that you can add to your collection. Yeah. Have yeah, another you'd probably weird be stoked pinhead. About yeah, because yeah, yeah. you love. Pinhead. You love Pinhead, so they're just appealing, figuring out new ways to make things that nobody has in their collection of two million things that they already own. And to be fair, they just made, with that DC Primal Age, they made the Batcave Ooh. in like the scale of the Castle the Grace. Oh, sh- and it's shoot. awesome. Really? And that's it's the thing. so cool. I and it's only yeah. 60 bucks. Wow. 60 what? bucks? Yeah. It's super reasonably priced. Can you show us that? Like, how is that? Like, pull out. You know what it is also? I think like there you go. they're striking the, you know. Oh, that's the, so much better. So much better. They're hitting those notes for the people that are, you know, used to love He-Man. Who the same it? way they did the reaction ones. The, um, what you might call it? The ones that look like the uh, old wow. school Star Wars. And wow. it, look, it opens up. It's got the inside play set. The that is cool. The cave, like. There you go. They're, they're going for the fans of. Primal Age Batman He-Man. Batcave. That's cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's awesome. And huh. sixty bucks. So it's a it's a fifty fifty. They would have to come up with like a cool, cool character that I like. That's just it. Like when they hit yeah. the character that you You'll like, be like, oh my god, that's it. so clever, that's so cool. All of these different style body things are all just trying to find the next pop for it's, them. Yeah, it's like, just yeah, Pop does so well they need another one so that they can remake all these characters again yeah Yeah. so it's like alright what's the next Pop <laughs> try this try this try this <laughs> try Dorbs try Vinyls try Savage World and they're big enough that they they can do whatever yeah. they want one of them will work it's kind of amazing and really. people will rebuy them all again yep I mean how many times have people bought Luke Skywalker 50 times they keep retrying a new body and seeing if people buy it again and new they will. scale new outfit new, yeah yeah all right. Well, I guess that's just the nature of the toy world. Did we solve your dilemma, Ben? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> well, then we'll do this again in season four. Bam! Maybe we'll do it again in this season as well. We'll see how the viewership goes. Tell us what you like that Funko makes. Tell us if you collect pop. Tell us, are you into the new Paz? Are you into the new Savage figures? Are you into mystery minis? Are you into Mickey's butt? You know, tell us what you are into. (laughs) And, um, you know, we'll discuss and we'll talk about it. And and that'll be it. Right, George? (laughs) That's it. What? (laughs) You're just texting. He's got other things to do. Yeah, he's got more important. I moved on. This conversation's boring to me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, then we're done. We're done here. Forget this. Okay. Uh, But that was fun, right? Yeah. Funko. It was very Funko. It was Funko, yeah. And you know what? All you people out there, look up some of those Funko artists on Instagram, and I don't have their names. Do they credit them? You bought the artist. Like if you just start, if you follow the Funko stuff, you can kind of start to learn who does what. Like digging, and you can find like the person who does the sculpts for these, or the person who does the. Well, you mentioned Reese. Yeah, and like follow, like see who he follows, and like find some of the other Funko artists because they post all the stuff. Like and they and they make out. their own toys too, don't they? A lot of them do, and a lot of them do their own design work, and like they do a lot of cool stuff. Maybe we should do like an episode with that. Should have some of them on. Ooh. Yeah, you're invited. Come on down. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to join us next week. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. All that good stuff. Show us how you watch on Instagram, and we will see you next week.
We will Bye. see you. Bye. Bye. Oh, we'll see you. Oh, that's how it works. <laughs>